It is the Sunday. Preach from the mountaintop from Jane. It is a little bit hot. Oh, whoa. That's okay. I like it. So many amazing things have been coming into my life, especially in the last week. Old friends coming back in, new friends, interested in doing new projects. It's powerful. So I was struck with, you know, when I'm going up the mountain, I have no idea what I'm going to talk about. And uh, when I get to the top, usually, and I do my little prayer, something hits me. I'm so hot and so uh, <sighs> just oxygenated. I can't even stand still right now. My cells are just jumping. Alive. Uh, so I was struck with, we humans, we're so funny. I'm talking about me. We're actually resistant to change, even though we're praying for it. We're saying, oh my God, I think I'm going to faint a little bit right now here. Let me just squat down. Actually, let me just sit down here for a minute. I won't faint, I promise. I know what it feels like when you're going to faint. It feels like right now. Ah, so I'm alive. Ah. So we're in our little, little comfort zone, in our little bubble. And, uh, oh, does that say it's turning off? No, that says it's running. Yay little comfort zone. We're praying for change, but we're actually scared of change. So we don't want things to change, but we pray for the thing, the new boyfriend or the new job or the, you know, help me get on Oprah or help millions of people discover my book or whatever the thing is. And uh, <laughs> it's so funny because we're actually scared when, and we start getting overwhelmed and it's stressful. Okay, I can stand up again. And uh, it's stressful when the things we get stressed with bad stuff and we get stressed with good stuff. So the prayer is actually don't, it, the, it's not, the prayer is not, <laughs> send me my beloved, my soulmate, or send me the new job or send me Oprah. Oh, I sat on a sticker. How do you like that? Oh, there's a big hole in the back of my pants. <laughs> my old jeans, look at my old jeans. Here's my old jeans. <sighs> the prayer is not send me that man or that job or that new car. The prayer is make me the woman or make me the person who is open, ready and open to receiving all that goodness. That's the prayer. And uh, make me that gently because <laughs> if we ask universe or, the, or God, make me that person who can receive all that goodness. Sometimes it comes with a sledgehammer and you don't need a sledgehammer. Chances are you've had enough sledgehammers in your life. Wow, there's seriously a sticker. That's a wake up call, sat on a sticker. <laughs> <sighs> so when I got to the top, my prayer was <clears throat> two prayers. Two prayers are the perfect prayers. One prayer is thank you. Thank you. That's the biggest prayer you'll ever say. And the other prayer is make me the person who is able and ready and available and willing to receive all that goodness you have for me because the universe is so vast and you're not in it. You are it. It's in you. You are of it. It is flowing through you in a massive current. And if you will just relax, and my big thing is I have to remember, put my, stand up straight and put my shoulders down and back. That's my big thing. Because I crouched over for all those years with all that spinal pain and ankle pain. Uh, I'm getting used to not crouching. And uh, so don't crouch and not let life in. So I love you. Please let my love in. I adore you. I hope you are having a massively outstanding, extraordinary Sunday. Mwah!